Mr. Xi Jin. And currently, I would like to present my assignment on Taiwan from KN30903 Technical Design 1. And this is our question. A column has a square tubular cross section. The wall thickness is 10 mm and the column length is 12 mm. The column is actually loaded in expressions and has thin ends. The mass of the tubular column must not exceed 200 kg. So, what we need to find is to determine the which matter in table 3 by 1 give the highest blocking load and calculate the critical load. So, first of all, let me assume the column but according to the Euler equations. So we use this formula to, cal to calculate our critical blocking load. PR is equal to pi squared E times I over LE squared. E is the elastic modulus of material. I is area moment of initial of material. LE is the effective length of material. First of all, we need to calculate the area of a square tubular cross section with outside dimension h, and the area is equal to h square minus h minus 0 0.02 square in meter cube. And why this is 0 0.02 is because the thickness of the wall here is 0 0.01, and here also is 0 0.01, so total is 0 0.02. In these questions, it stated that the mass of the tubular column must not exceed 200 kg. So therefore, we also need to include mass in our calculation. Therefore, mass is equal to rho B, also equal to rho AL, and we substitute the area, area formula inside this formula. So where Rho is equal to density of material, V is the volume of material, L is equal to the length, effective length of material. Yes. The area moment of initial for a square tube. Let's we refer to a table from a website. And the square is equal to I is equal to A power 4 over 12. Okay, so the area of moment of initial in in our questions since this is a hollow square tube so therefore our our moment of initial become h power 4 minus h minus 0 0.02 power 4 over 12 so referring to question once we actually can arrange uh, rearrange our formula in this form to become equation 3 so and we also rewrite our moment of initial i become this form so we substitute 3 into 4 to give this formula and the next thing is what is the effective length of this column let's let us refer to a table so uh, from our questions it stated that the column is actually noted in expression and has been been ends so that means is this so therefore, our effective length of this column is equal to the length of the column and equal to 12 meter. And next, so we combine everything, all equations into our critical button load and to give these equations. And referring to the example, we know that the largest parking lot would result from the largest value of E over rho. So from table 3.1, observe that magnesium will give the largest E over rho value. This is table 3.1. And actually from this table, we cannot find magnesium inside this table. The thing we can find is magnesium alloy. But it's okay, I also will involve magnesium in the calculation of E over rho value. Ah, this is the E over rho value table. 
and we actually found that magnesium is not the highest it will be it will row value and the highest E of row value is high speed steel but it's, it's okay we, I will just make a comparison between magnesium and high speed steel okay let's we use let's we find the the information of magnesium first H is equal to 0 0.249 meters and the critical bucking load magnesium is 282 kilonewtons now we calculate again with high speed steel H is equal to 0 0.063 meters and the critical load of high speed steel is 14.9 kilonewtons is smaller than the critical loads of magnesium so from this we actually can conclude that higher E of a row value does not mean it will have higher critical bucket loads so to, uh, we have to make some calculation to make sure this column is indeed described by the Euler equations so first of all we have to calculate the area of cross section which is 9.56 times 10 power negative 3 and the area moment of initial 9.12 times 10 power negative 5 and critical slenderness ratio 132.7 and slenderness ratio 132.86 so since then slenderness ratio is greater than the critical slenderness ratio means C is greater than CC so this column is indeed described by the Euler equations here is the reference that I use in this assignment thank you